Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.2, the second big update to iOS 18, bringing a ton of new features, improvements, and also the second pack of Apple intelligence features to iOS 18. So this update will be released in a matter of days now. So in today's video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know regarding iOS 18.2 before you go ahead and update your device. So first of all, let's head on to the settings app. Now, if you're on any of the betas of iOS 18.2, whether that be the dev beta or the public beta, you need to know how you should actually update in the next releases. So first of all, head on to the general settings here, go to software update. And if you're on iOS 18.2, beta 4 and not the RC version, which will most likely be released today in a matter of hours, then you will have two different options. If you're on beta 4 or maybe even any of the other older betas and you don't want to update to the RC version, but you want to just update to the public version, then what you need to do is head on to beta updates here and make sure you turn them off. You turn them off before the RC gets released and you don't install it. So that way you will get the public release on your iPhone. But if you don't want to do that, you can just update to the RC version. Now just keep in mind that the RC version and the public release of iOS 18.2 will be the exact same updates. So it doesn't really matter whether you're updating to the RC or you're waiting for the public release. But I know a ton of people just want to update to the public release. But anyway, that's the same update. So you're good with either of those. Next up, let's talk about something, of course, really important when it comes to new updates, and that's battery and performance. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the battery here. Now, I've been using iOS 18.2 since beta 1, and it actually has quite a decent battery life. Keeping in mind that we have all the new features, all the AI features on this device here, and the device with the battery capacity being here at 91%, it actually is quite decent. So, here we have a few like different days here and a few different performances right there we have at 100 percent battery that's exactly 100 percent there nine hours 22 minutes on screen and then we have right here about 125 percent battery eight hours 52 minutes and you can see right here i've used navigation for most of that time so it's actually quite good and then right here we have exactly 125 percent battery again again seven hours 50 minutes and you can see right there 38 percent is on navigation so you know that loses a uses a ton of battery so we have again a great performance here when it comes to battery and again here with about 110 percent battery seven hours 17 minutes so the battery is actually quite good i'm really satisfied with this update when it comes to the battery performance now, when it comes to performance, you can see right here, we have the Geekbench score from Geekbench 6, and it's actually amazing. This is one of the best scores that I've got on this device with any other update that I have installed. You can see right there, we have the single core score is at 2,952, while we have the multi-core score at 7,383. And you can see right there with every update that Apple has released for iOS 18.2 with every new beta, we actually had improvements on performance. And I would expect actually iOS 18.2 to also perform a bit even better when it comes to the new RC version or the public release that should get even a higher score than this. Now with iOS 18.2, we get the second pack of Apple intelligence features. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or any of the other new iPhones that have been released, the iPhone 16 series, then you will get a bunch of new features. First of all, of course, the integration with ChatGPT, which you can find right here under Apple intelligence and Siri. So you will have a dedicated section right there where you can enable chat gpt and you can just ask siri to perform anything with chat gpt or you can even compose anything you want with chat gpt from the writing tools we also get the new image playground and we get genmoji as well which lets you basically just create any emoji you want and the image playground letting you create any image you want with your iphone so a ton of new apple intelligence features will also be available on this update there's also a change on the mail app so the mail app will be totally different and it will be available for all devices and you will see right here we have different sections now where you can 
actually filter your email, which is really great. I really love this change that Apple has made to the email app. Now, of course, you can tap the three dots right there. You can also go to the old like style. But again, I would prefer this one as it actually lets you just find the emails you really need and are really important much, much easier. Another great new feature of iOS 18.2 is that now you can use your dynamic island to actually view your download. So if you're downloading something from Safari, you will see the progress right here, which is really awesome. You can expand it at any time you want. And of course, you can even stop the download from there. Not just that, you will be able to also see the download on the live activity right here, which is really, really awesome. Moving here to the settings app and you can notice a difference here. The settings app now has dark mode icons and tinted icons as well. All the icons will be tinted based on the icons that you have on your home screen, which is really cool. You can see these will match with these, which is really awesome. Also, if you go to apps, you will have now a dedicated section here for default apps. If you go here, you will have your email, messaging, calling and call filtering. And then you will have your browsers here, passcode apps, contactless apps and the keyboards. And you can just go ahead and choose here what app you want to use as a default app for any of these, which is really awesome. So you will have all of them in one place. Another thing that you will notice here is that if you go back here and you go to search, you will have now the option to actually change the search engine directly from here. Now you would be able to do this before, but you would have to go into Safari settings. Now you can do that from the search settings. And another thing that I like, if you go right here under accessibility, then you would go right here under audio. You will find now a new section that basically allows you to enable a volume slider for your music on the lock screen. So you enable this right here and it shows the volume control on the lock screen whenever you're playing any media. Now, as far as the releases go, I would expect Apple to actually release the RC version of iOS 18.2 as soon as today. Most likely it will happen today. It might happen even tomorrow, but today around 10 a.m. Pacific time should be the time that Apple releases the RC version. Again, as I said, if you're on the beta of iOS 18.2, you can just go ahead and update to the RC version. You don't have to deal anymore with the public release. So you basically get the release a week earlier and then the public release will happen most likely on December 2nd. The rumors are that it will happen the week of December 2nd. Usually Apple releases a big update on a Monday. So wait for December the 2nd to be the day that Apple will release the new iOS 18.2. So what's next when it comes to iOS 18? Well, as you probably know, in a few weeks here, we're going into holiday season. So I would actually expect Apple to release a beta for iOS 18.3 as soon as next month. I don't think they will go into holidays without releasing a beta. I would expect actually a beta to be released the same week as the public release of iOS 18.2, maybe on the 3rd or the 4th of December, and then another beta before the holiday starts. But we will have to wait and see for that. But if the iOS 18.2 releases right here on the 2nd, I don't think Apple will just go like a couple or three weeks without releasing any like software updates at all. So there should be an iOS 18.3 beta being released actually in a few weeks. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is everything you need to know about iOS 18.2 before you go ahead and you update your device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more iOS 18.2 videos and I will see you on the next one.